Over the last couple of years or so, the Acuta Max Utsoff range, the 80mm in particular, and we'll use the 80mm fast version as an example, have been very popular sellers. And But what we're looking at here now is the Skywatcher StarQuest 90MC. And as a full package, is this actually not only a better option, but better value for money? Well, at a, around about £200, you, you get the Acuta Mac 80 OTA, optical tube assembly only. Yet for around about £60 more, you can get this telescope on an equatorial mount with slow motion controls. But have you noticed something? This is actually a larger telescope. This is a 90mm, so you get in more aperture uh, slight, yeah, more light gathering, in fact 26.5% more light gathering than the 80mm and on an EQ mount I think that makes this as a, a complete package actually much better value for money and so what we'll do now we'll have a closer look and go through all the specs. So starting off with the mount you have uh, well the, the legs themselves that I would imagine they're the same as the Skywatcher EQ1, but you have the StarQuest EQ mount, uh, uh, which I believe is slightly better. And it has a twin slow motion controls, ideal for tracking stars and planets uh, as they slowly move along. So you have a 90mm objective lens, so obviously more light gathering, as I mentioned, compared to the Mac 80. Uh, focal length of 1,250mm in such a short tube, but that is the design of the Mac 2 software. Basically, the light, light comes down, hits the mirror at the bottom, back up, hits that secondary mirror that you can see there, and then back down to the eyepiece. And so it's in effect 1.2 meters long focal length you wouldn't think it and that is ideal for planetary work it has a 90 millimeter objective lens which compared to the 80 uh, much better light gathering 26.5 percent uh, more light gathering so not just better for planetary work with the, that longer focal length but you'll also be able to see more deep space objects uh, Eyepieces that you get with these are classed as dual use uh, for attaching both for visual and attaching the uh, smartphone uh, uh, to take some nice photographs of the moon. Uh, and they give magnifications of 62 and a half and 125. But as I always say to people, enjoy the view through the eyepiece first, then worry about photographs later. But what I found uh, more uh, useful to me personally, is if you remove the uh, star diagonal, uh, you, there is actually a, a, a T-thread there, so you can attach a T-ring and do prime focus photography. And uh, in particular, if you do, uh, at a later date, attach the uh, motor drive to this, you can, uh, you, know, you can do what we call image stacking for lunar work or longer, ex uh, ideal for longer exposure. Uh, uh, deep space objects such as uh, star cluster nebula and some of the brighter galaxies. Uh, you have a red dot finder as standard but that can be upgraded uh, to a visual one something like a, a 6x30 or 9x50. So you get a 90 degrees star diagonal with these. I don't think it's a correct image uh, one so you might have left and right opposite but if I'm wrong with that I'll correct myself in the comments. So yeah, uh, nice, easy to use a uh, uh, focus wheel on the opposite side here. I'll show some photographs of that close up. Uh, so yeah, uh, a complete package. When, when you think about the cost of the 80mm Max Utsov, to get a larger telescope with an EQ mount, and I know a few of our customers have actually bought the, the, uh, the Mac 80 and then at the same time or a later time uh, bought a photographic tripod, but for about... 60 pounds more, 69 pounds more or so, uh, you can get an EQ mount and you're ready to go. And this will all fold up and go on the back seat of a car if you do need to go to a dark sky location. So yeah, ideal for both deep sky work, star clusters and that, uh, double star observing, lunar and planetary. But remember with planetary work, it is a starter telescope. And so 
don't expect Hubble images. That's a lot a mistake. A lot of people do. The image, uh, the planets will start, still be quite small for the eyepiece, uh, but you should be able to pick out some detail. A uh, number of cloud belts on Jupiter, for example. Uh, you can upgrade to some uh, uh, special uh, specialised uh, planetary eyepieces from Skywatch at uh, from Skywatch at a later date uh, if you uh, wish to do that. And so, yeah. Link to purchase in the description below. As always, you are supporting our channel. Uh, don't forget to reply to the order confirmation email saying that you watch our YouTube channel. And I'll put a little extra something in the box. So thanks again and I'll see you next time.